Friends, I am getting pretty excited about spring over here. Um, but one thing I have to keep taking care of, even though I'm outside, is those tomato and pepper starts that I have got going in the basement. All of my warm weather starts are going to start um, needing up potting and needing some TLC and keeping an eye on them fairly quickly. Um, I'm going to start very soon on up potting those um, tomatoes that we sewed all together. And any of the peppers that are getting big are going to need to be up potted pretty soon too. So let's take a look at tomatoes and peppers today. Okay, the grill room is in a state of disrepair. Let's just not worry about it too much. I'm moving all my peppers and tomatoes down here so I can keep close eye on them and start to, <coughs> excuse me, up pot them when they're ready. So today let's just really quick take a look at tomatoes and here's kind of how I've got them worked out. I've got three trays, one, two, three, four. And what I did is I put all the ones that are ready to transplant here. So I can start up potting these into their own container. So what I wanna do is once they have their own true leaves, so let's look at this guy right here. These are the seed leaves. See how they're nice and flat and oil like that? Those will fall off. These are the real leaves, first true leaves of this tomato plant. So as they start to get those, I'm gonna take them out of these cups and put them all in their own individual cup. So these ones are ready. So when I have an extra 10, 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna come grab a cup, up pot as many as I can, try and get those done first. These two racks right here, they're not full just because I want them this way toward the light. These are what we're gonna call our teenage tomatoes and they are getting there. So you can see they're starting to pop their first true leaves. This guy's got his true leaves, but his friends don't. So these are the teenagers, keeping an eye on them. Back here are the babies, and these are mostly the cherry tomatoes that are just getting started, and then a couple slower growing varieties that I put back in the nursery. So this is kind of my organization system for tomatoes, and I'm not unhappy with how we're going. These guys look fantastic. As far as peppers go, I am starting to move them down here because I'm gonna start taking the ones out that are getting bigger and putting them into their pots, either sale pots or my pots. Like this guy's got two in there for a banana. He's gonna to need to get separated. So you can see I've got some plugs empty and what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and putting them into um, these black containers, one per black container um, for the ones that I'm gonna keep. So I'm going through and pulling the ones that I need. These black containers, I think they're a four inch. Um, they are going to be big enough for this pepper to stay in until it goes outside, probably, for most varieties. So I went through and pulled all my shishito and bananas that I wanted. You can see I went through and pulled a couple pepperoncinis there. And then this is gonna give me, I'm not taking the rest of them out. So like this Carmen, I pulled the two that were there. I know I want two Carmen. I'm gonna leave those other ones there and keep watering them in case I get one, maybe for another week. After a week when I've pulled all these out of here and up potted them for myself and for people that I'm growing them for, at that point, if I don't have any germination, I'm gonna assume that that's no good pepper. And we're just gonna roll with what we got. And so far, this is not the best pepper germination year, but I have enough to do what I need to do. I did wanna give you guys an update on those dahlias that we cut. I want you to look right here at this guy. Can you see that? So here's where we've cut that dahlia on top of the leaf nodes, and it's got two, this is nothing, sorry. It's got two new branches coming out right there. So I feel a lot better <laughs> about topping these guys all off now that they're getting more growth. The zinnia's up here. <laughs> Do not have new growth yet. It's early. It's early. It's going to be okay, Stephanie. Everybody tell me it's going to be okay, right? <laughs> uh, if the dahlias have new growth, the zinnias will too. We're going to leave it at that. As far as the dahlia cuttings that I'm trying to get root, they're right here. They look good. Thanks to Dorinda's advice, I did pull all the leaves up out of that water. That was a silly mistake on my part, but live and learn. I do not know everything. No new roots, but it's way too early for that anyway. Even if they took very quickly, still too early. I'm impatient. 
Okay, one more funny thing before we start planting seeds today. This is the Huca melon. It looks really sad. It's just because it's mad. Remember, I had it trailing up that rope? Well, it got up way, way too high, and the pots needed to be transplanted to something bigger. So I found this use what you have thing, right? There's a lot of water here just because I just watered it. I won't leave it standing in that much water. So I potted my two Huca melon plants into this big container, and I'm going to let them climb this random light over in the corner. It's warm in this area. I think they're going to like it. If they don't, it's okay. Cucumelons are just a fun thing to grow. I will not cry if I lose them, but I guess let's put some guesses in the comments. How long do you think this cucumelon vine is going to get before I put it outside? I'm going to say right now it's about one. I'm going to say it's almost two and a half feet long right now, and it can't go out till the first frost. Good luck. Make your guesses. Okay, quickly, let's talk a little bit about the timing of my tomatoes and my peppers. Um, they are a little earlier. You still have plenty of time to start tomatoes inside. Peppers inside in my area in Michigan, it's probably too late to start from seed. Um, you'll get peppers, but they'll be in September. I mean, in my experience. Um, you'd probably better off buying starts somewhere. But you can try. I mean, it's not going to hurt, and you, you might prove me wrong. Some varieties might prove me wrong. Um, what my plan is, is to get these all up potted into larger pots, those four inch pots the peppers were in. I'm going to get the rest of my peppers and my tomatoes into those. And then I'm going to go ahead and get all of the ones that I'm giving away, um, selling to friends and family. Those I'm going to get up potted as well. And then I'll have an entire table full of um, individual tomatoes and peppers, and I'll be easily able to tell whose are whose. Um, and at that point, I probably have about a month to keep them inside that way. But they'll be the only thing left in the house at that point. Everything else will be outside. Um, yeah, pretty much everything else. I might have a couple of random flowers here or there, but for the most part, towards the middle of April, the only thing left in the grow room should be peppers and tomatoes which is kind of in that crazy cucumelon. <laughs> if it makes it, I don't know if it's going to make it. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys had fun today and I will see you again tomorrow.